Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Margot Robbie in her Barbie Enchanted Evening Gown. So let's get started. To draw cute Margot Robbie, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. Then I'm going to come right next to it, say about this wide, and draw another circle. There, and I have my eyes in. I mean, I have my circles in. Let's make them draw so cute eyes with two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom. And shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. There. I have my eyes in. I'm going to spruce them over some beautiful lashes. So I'm going to the sides right here. And let's just draw a lash nice and long. Maybe another one and one more. So same thing here. Nice long one. Shorter one and another shorter one. And then if you like, you can come, even come to the bottom right here and just draw maybe two small lashes. And then let's give her some brows. So I'm going to come up about right here and just draw a soft arc. And same thing right across. There. And let's give her a sweet smile, of course. So let's come about right here in the center. And let's draw a curve and go up and cap it off. Then from there, we're going to start to frame her face. And so because she has these two strands of hair that's really um, close to her eyes, I'm going to start at the top. So let's say about, say about right here, kind of like where her forehead would be, right in the center. Say about right here, I'll give myself a point. And from there, I'm gonna go up and then draw a strand that comes really close to her eye. And just bring it down. So same thing on this side, we're going to bring it, well actually, you know what, sorry, this side is a little bit different. So this strand comes down a little bit, um, has a little bit more, uh, how would you say, it's a little bit more slanted, I guess. So we're going to come right here, we're going to bring it down close to her eye, and about right there, and then it's going to slant out. So something like that. Okay, so then from there, let's come back into this space, whatever space you have left, let's just draw a curve to finish off her forehead. And then let's come back into this space. So imagine if you were drawing her face, you would come about right here and you would start the bottom of a U, right? So I'm just gonna say about right here, I'll start. And here, just play around with it. And I'm just gonna find my center and give her a chin now let's say about right here, I'll give myself a point. So I know where I'm going and I'm going to bring in a curve. So about right there and up. There, give her a nice chin. It's so delicate, right? Okay, so then from there, I'll finish her strands a little bit later because I want to, I don't want them to get in the way of her dress. So um, let's work on her body first. I'm going to come right about here and we're going to draw our little neck. About right here and here. So we're going to draw that little line and before we finish it, we have to draw a bunch of... I'm just going to try my best here. Hopefully you can see it. I'm just going to draw a four stack of four circles for her necklace, kind of like this necklace choker that's on her neck. And then from there, we're going to imagine that it's coming through for her shoulders and we're just going to bring it down. Just 
and bring it down there and then from there we need to draw this wrap that she has so i'm going to come out right here and we're just going to wobble our way across so come out and just going to wobble my way across with a curve to the other side and then i'm going to find my center come straight down say about this wide give myself a point and from there we're going to come down with a curve wobbling as I go and then come back up about right here let's create this wrap to the right there and then we're going to give it a little bit of a slant and connect so same thing on this side so just wobble a little bit come out a little bit and then we're just going to angle this side is going to come down just like that one and just go ahead and connect it there now we have her wrap okay so now we can finally go back and finish her hair so i'll bring this strand down to about right here and go up to connect the strand one strand and then this one I'm just going to bring this out to about right here there and then we can come back into where kind of where her eye is we're just going to draw part of her ear there's a curve right there and then the rest of her hair let's go straight up there's like uh, two layers so we're gonna come about right here go up we're gonna bring this down go to where her ear is so same thing on this side where her ear is and then at the top right here just gonna wobble a little bit to give it some volume so I just draw a curve about right here and then taper it in there and then you can draw some strands for this top part so hopefully I've captured the look <sighs> okay there and we're gonna draw two some parting lines and that is pretty much it for her head so can we can't see much earrings because i put these strands in here so um let's go back down to her body so let's come about imagine like her armpit would be about right here so we're just going to come down and draw give yourself some room for the arm so about right here and about here nice and centered we're going to draw angle line down so we're going to start her dress and on this side as well so right there draw two little angle lines and in this space right here i'm going to stop and draw so this is kind of like where her waist is so just remember that and then in this space right here we need to draw a flower so i'm just going to wobble my way across I'm going to come into the center and wobble to create this flower and then we can go ahead and connect it right there so this flower is right at the waist area and so then now I'm going to draw her hands which are folded together into the center so let's come back up about right here I'll take this step by step. So imagine her shoulders, her arms would come out about right here. So same thing here. Just keep that in mind here. Right, so let's bring this down. And we need to bring her hands towards the center about right in this area. So let's say about right here, kind of like where her waist is. I'm going to stop and bring this down towards the center. So if you're using a pencil, definitely draw in her 
skirt first and then you can put in the arms. I mean, that might make it a little bit easier. But I can't erase. I'm gonna come about right here. I'm not try not to hit her the flower. So we just to about right there. And then let's see here. We're going to we need to go back and forth. So right here, we're gonna draw a little curve. And this is gonna curve in. So just a little bump right there for where the hands are gonna start. And then we're gonna cut off. So this is tucked in. They're very subtle, right? And then let's continue this for her elbow. Get to her wrist. So this is a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna be bringing this down. The her wrist about right there and then just angle out. And so this part is where we're gonna draw a hand and fingers. There, and then just draw a little line right here. Something like that. Just trying to simplify as much as I can. There, so hopefully that looks right. We're trying to aim for the center to fold her hands together. And these are actually gloves, so if you like, if there's enough space, you can kind of cut it off right here. So then now let's draw her dress, her skirt, I mean. And let's work on this side. So we're going to give her hips right here. And I'm just going to start on this side because this side has this beautiful train. So let's bring this down so I know how far to bring the train. I'm just kind of imagining. Let's keep bringing this down. And then on this side, we're going to curve out this beautiful train. So you can imagine it about right here. So it's going to come down. It's going to cover her skirt. So, and let's keep bringing this down. So let's see how far we, her skirt is very long. So let's say about right here. I'm gonna give it a little bit flare out and then we're gonna bring it in. So before I finish bringing that in, I'm going to bring this down to the length of her dress. And about right here, I'll start to flare it out. Then I'll just connect whatever space I have left. Then let's work on her feet. So center by right here. And let's work on this side, in and then out. And connect. And I'm just gonna simplify it with a curve. And so same thing, in and then out. And curve there. Just giving a little tilt to give her feet some a little bit different so it's not so stiff. And then let's see, let's draw this beautiful train. So I'm gonna bring this down. So it needs to be the length of her shoe almost. So let's say about right here. And just start to wobble, wobble to connect it. And then for some details, and add some curves. Another one. Maybe one here. There, just to give our, so we know that this is a uh, layered, this train here. There, and I think that is pretty much it. Oh, except her, uh, like on her dress right here, just for some detail, I can draw some of these crease lines. Right 
we're gonna do that when you're coloring so it's not so harsh and there's some line, lines right there but I'll, I think I'll do that when I'm coloring and um, that is pretty much it for this beautiful drawing here of uh, Margot Robbie as uh, Barbie in her enchanted evening dress. I evening gown, I mean. I really hope you loved this and that I helped you draw her fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Drossicute videos. See you later.